During the day, I'm a social worker and I work with people with disabilities and I have for over 20 years. And through my years of experience, I've had the opportunity to visit quite a few art programs to support artists that happen to have disabilities. And about three years ago, I had toured a bunch of programs and I uh, was shown a, a beautiful glazed piece of pottery that I just fell in love with. And uh, when I left that place, it, it dawned on me that that piece of pottery wouldn't be seen by anyone but me. And so because of that, I decided to start this nonprofit called The Show Art Gallery that supports artists from all walks of life. But we specifically focused on pulling some of those artists that aren't seen as often in mainstream art world um, into a place where they could be. It gives artists who might not normally have an opportunity to show a, a place where they can do it. So yeah, it's an opportunity that, that I wouldn't have if not for this place. And I was lucky enough to collaborate with two other nonprofits. One's called the St. Paul Art Collective and the other is called MSS. And both groups support artists um, from all walks of life. I'm in the St. Paul and surrounding area. And so we decided with this new space, since we had a gallery space, uh, it would might be nice to, in this front area to make it a lower town welcome center so we can talk to folks that are coming into the gallery and educate them on what happens in lower town, uh, talk about the artist, talk about the art activities uh, of all genres including the art crawls and lower town first Fridays and, and we just want people to know that it's a vibrant community, it's a fun thing to do and you can on any given day come down and find out what's happening in lower town here at the lower town welcome center and you can also connect with the artists. The art here is created by um, some fairly famous artists in Lower Town and some not so famous folks, but you really can't tell. We don't want artists with disabilities to be in their own gallery. That's just not really the intent. We're really trying to be inclusive, that artists, no matter where they came from, have equal access to being shown um, and equal access to making a living from selling their art. I've sold a number of pieces here and um, definitely a part of my income that's needed. I mean the art is sort of a self-esteem thing, you know, makes me feel good about myself and it just kind of takes me away from real life where, you know, I have insecurities. Um, the name The Show came out of another um, passion of mine and that's baseball. When a, a, a minor league player makes it to the majors, it's called going to the show. So I saw the similarities between a minor league player making it to the show and perhaps artists that don't have quite the training that some do actually making it to a show as well. So that's where the name came from. When the first time I saw um, that piece of art next to everyone, all the other pieces of art, it, it really hit that this was um, a really special place.